Jake Wheeler, two, Liam McCrory, five, Fabio Rivers, six, Luke Dinegi, twelve, Joe Moretti, number 17, George Smith, 22, Matt Perry Hargreaves, 23, and Captain, Rich Tyler, 24, Dylan Ajay Kelsey, 25, Jerry Gerardi, and number 27, Ryan Jones. And for a small town in Abraham Navy, in goal, number 21, Will Dennis, number 2, and Captain Josh Jackman. About Worthing and uh, the amount of fans they brought, because they look like they've made, managed to beat them this afternoon, which is it's kind of be, it's kind of to be expected, really, considering it is the Ber Berkshire derby. As Matt Lynch is now put through on goal, Obi is across. He's free. There's no man marking him. Lynch plays it across. It's deflected in, and it's ended up in the back of the Crusaders' net. It's an early lead for Slough, and it's an own goal from Luke Delaney. After a break appeared out of nowhere, it seems, and Matt Lynch aiming for Ogo Obi, but it's deflected in. And uh, after three and a half minutes played here at Isle Park, Slough have the lead. Getting pressure on not only the ball, but seemingly the passing channel, so it's allowing Slough to win that ball back quite frequently at the moment. And a heavy trucker there says, hope we keep the momentum going when we score early normally. I think that's it as the ball comes in for Slough. Shane Bush on the end of it and it's in, it's crept in. It's another goal for Slough. I was just briefly looking away there, but I did see the ball come into the box. Um, it was Shane Bush who scuffed the, the, the initial shot into the floor, um, but the ball was still at his feet and he's uh, on the floor, kind of scissor kicked on the floor into the bottom corner. And Slough have doubled their lead. Yeah, two, two very strange goals. Very strange goals. <laughs> as you say, I mean, where, where that ball came across, it almost hit the underside of his left foot as, as Bush had swung to volley it. The corner is in. It's towards the middle of the box. It's a bit of a scramble in the middle there. Fell for Fabio Lopez. Another shot comes in. It's blocked away and cleared away by Matt Lynch. And a very high ball into the box from one of the members of the uh, defensive team of Hungerford is straight into the hands of Will Dennis and uh, that alerted Joe Bawachi to chase the ball down Dennis eventually getting the ball away and uh, Steve Delaney there says thanks Luke Delaney for the own goal that's a fantastic touch by George Smith he brings it down and strikes towards goal reason I'm not quite sure but Scott Davis so far has stood up to every attempt that they've tried to do so Johnny Goddard now looks to put in a low ball in. It's palmed away and Obi follows up and it's 3-0 Slough. Unbelievable scenes here at Arbor Park this afternoon as Slough go 3-0 up thanks to Ogo Obi there. There's a low ball in from Johnny Goddard which uh, Jed Ward could only palm out and Obi with the follow-up fired past him. And uh, what do we make of this now, Gary? I'm sure a lot of people will have uh, heard from our reactions. It's surprising to see from the small amount of chances Slough basically score with everyone they've had. As uh, Hungerford now come forward with Bawachi, who's gone round everyone. Well, Dennis palms it out and it's almost followed up there. <laughs> Hungerford on this near side. And still not looking entirely comfortable. No, he isn't. We are back into play though, as Tyrese Owen just turns Bawachi there really well, but he's just eventually loses out to him. It's a great turn there by uh, Jones around, oh, as around Jackman as Scott Davis is then forced to chest the ball back to Will Dennis from very a, a really short range and I'm sure you picked up that all oh, across the uh, the ground there. That wasn't just a chest bat, that was a flick up <laughs> chest bat. Mm -hmm. Being there. Two great bits from Slough there, obviously firstly the tackle from Togwell. As Davis takes a long shot. <laughs> Are we just uh, caught us unexpected there? Yeah, but I just didn't, even, his own didn't even see the sh attempt there from Scott Davis. I think if that had been an immediate, you know, if he'd, if he'd lost his footing immediately, I think the referee may have had a different decision. Great low off there from Benyon for George to play in, and uh, I believe he's been flagged offside. Gabe George it was a great ball. Scott Davis there with a pass inside to Benyon, who had loads of space and a header back now for Obi to chase. He's round the keeper with the ball, keeper's got back, he's chipped it over the goalkeeper, he's struck the crossbar and Togwell with the follow-up 
might be the contributing factor then as to why Slough were finding that space just in behind. So another ball now, Josh Chapman up towards Obi, who's comfortably got himself into the box now with the ball. He's turned away into the box and he's pulled it back and it struck another Hungerford player and it's another own goal as Slough extend their lead to four. And just as we were discussing how Ungerford could possibly get back into the game, Slough have hopefully and kind of, I guess, killed the game off. It's another excellent run by Ogarobi, though. I'm not quite sure who it came off last. Uh, but we don't care, quite frankly, as uh, it is 4 0. Uh, certainly for that fourth goal. <laughs> it might, might have been a claim for Goddard. Goddard was certainly the player putting the hunger for defence under pressure. Yeah. Might be a claim in there for Goddard, we'll have to see. Obi shoots from range, lots of space for him there, but it's high over the goal to James Dobson, who immediately looks to play a ball in towards Benyon. Header is uh, won by Chapman and Lynch opts to go for a full-blooded volley there, which uh, may have left Berkshire, to be honest. Uh, put some uh, effort into that volley there, Matt Lynch. And <laughs> a bit passed back to Will Dennis, who clears away upfield again. Uh, but actually, I think was looking for a foul there, but it's not been given. Goddard with an interception on a pass. Still ended up... Oh, OK. Did you want to give that away to everyone already? Oh, fair enough. Goddard. And Goddard there on the ball. Not quite sure what happened. I was just speaking with Aid, but it fell to Goddard. He struck towards goals. Another good uh, reactionary save from Jed Ward as the ball comes back in from Lynch and it's caught by Ward. Yeah, so a, a surprise co-commentator next Saturday. I believe he said it may be a player as well, did he, Gary? Uh, he did. And he Obi did. now. After cut away again, and Obi's through on goal with the goalkeeper to beat. He's waited too long to take a shot. He had so much time. As uh, I look to the skies, and it's looking a little bit darker and overcast here, and maybe some rain potentially on the way. Actually, I think it is, it has been raining a little bit as the ball comes across the box, and everybody's missed it there to score in the last 10 or so minutes, though. A few players just not on the same wavelength as others. Lots of opportunities as uh, Hungerford again come forward. Lots of space for a ball in. Flicked header on. It's fallen back to a man in the box. It's deflected away off of Lee Togwell. Well for, the corner. for the cross as well. The, the man that was out there had so much time to put a ball in as the cross from the corner comes in and Will Dennis again punches away. It falls to Matt Berry Hargreaves but he's put it over the bar. But they've given the ball away though and it's a through ball up towards Aji Hersey tries to play it across for Gray Evans there but Shane Bush again my man of the match and Adrian's and uh, Matt Lynch has now just been robbed off the ball by Ryan Jones Jones with a low strike towards goal and Will Dennis gets to make a save he's dropped to his uh, his knees a couple of times I've noticed in the last few moments as a uh, hunger for take a short Stefan Illich cutting inside weaving inside and out of a couple of players Deflected away and another strike by George Smith is forced out by Slough. Stay behind to celebrate this big, big win for the Rebels. And not even 30 seconds as Slough win emphatically here in front of the home fans at Arbor Park. It's finished Slough Town 4, Hungerford Town 0.